Well, it's now December, and that means that it's time to go ahead and sell all of this silage, guys. 11 bales here on this trailer. They are 50,000 liters apiece. This is going to be a massive, massive payday. And it's a good thing because last month I bought a new truck. All right, here we go. Sell it off these 11 bales. Let's see exactly how much we're going to make. Oh, this is going to be good. This is going to be really, really good. Look at that. They're falling all over the place. Holy cow. Still climbing. Still climbing. What? 200. Uh, over 200,000, y'all. Today's not all about selling products. It's also about taking care of the animals. Now, the chickens, they did get a little bit low on the food. I'm filling it up right now. Probably going to have a little bit of excess here. The sheep are good. I mean, I might as well go ahead and clear out all of those greenhouses. And the cows, I need to check and see if they need any more food or straw as well. Look at that. A little bit over 5,300 liters left. There's one more thing that I got to try and do. I need to try and get this uh, cotton bale that you see sitting over uh, there. I need to try and get it up on to a trailer because it's going to sell for pretty good right now. It's like $25,000 right now um, for uh, cotton. So for that whole bale, I need to try and get that thing over there. I have no idea if this is going to work or not. We are going to find out. If not, I'm, I'm going to have to figure out a way. And it looks like my big bag handler right here is going to work. I think instead of putting it on the trailer, I'm just going to go ahead and dig it all the way over there to the spinnery myself. It's literally just like right over there at that building with the big stack. All right, here at the spinnery, let's go ahead and uh, undo the straps. And yep, money's going up. All right, 23, 24, $25,000 with my bonus. That is great. Over 300, almost $330,000 now. And that's good because I got to go buy a trailer. Remember I said I bought a truck just a little bit ago? Yep, here it is. The Mac Superliner right here by 82 Studios. This thing is an absolute beast. Decided to go ahead and put a little bit of a, uh, uh, how do you want to say it? Like muted paint job on it? Maybe? Kind of. It's uh, satin colors. Got the sad bell finish here on all the metals. I've got a carbon fiber chassis here. I don't know if you can see that very well, but it's carbon fiber chassis. And to go along with it, we got a nice, beautiful Wilson trailer right here. We got the case livery on the side. I think it's going to hold 500,000 liters of product for me. A lot better than the other trailer that I had. And hopefully this truck is going to do a little bit better and allow me to actually hire workers and send them on their way. So we're going to go ahead and test that right now. And there they go. I mean, this is a beautiful, beautiful truck. I can't wait to see it out in the field sitting next to the nice harvesters that i got and the best part the worker is gonna work i don't have an issue with that anymore and while i'm waiting on that worker to get back down here to the farm i'm gonna go ahead and start collecting all of these pallets that i've got here out on the uh the different areas the different animals and everything that we've got sitting around i mean the eggs i've got all kinds of pallets everywhere i'm just gonna go ahead and start putting them over here into the storage facility because um i might need to actually sell them here soon so i'm just gonna get them all here in one place i think it's gonna be the best way to do it and then uh, we'll be good to go so i'm gonna actually run down here to the main farm and grab some eggs there's like one pallet sitting down here a little bit over eight thousand liters of eggs here i mean that's not bad for the little bit of time that we had them here in this one facility i mean having three different uh coops here is gonna be great but there is one thing that i need to do i gotta sell some some roosters so you can see here on the right hand side that i've got a ton of different animals i mean they're anywhere from 10 months to two months zero months all the way 10 months 10 months zero months so all of the males i'm gonna go ahead and sell i do not know how many there are 44 all right perfect sell i mean i'm, I'm not gonna make any money because they're um they're not worth anything but i'm at least gonna get them out of here that way i can uh not have to feed them anymore i mean that, that, that may be bad right that, ooh, that sounded really bad no it's just i need to be able to conserve the amount of food that i have so there we go all of the males are now out of this one i no longer have any males they're all females all right i mean whether they're chicks or chickens it's gonna be yeah and we're about half full right now so i've got less than 250 chickens in each one of those coops now so it really reduced the amount of food that i'm gonna need for a whole year now it's time to go ahead and get this lettuce up on here as well get it stored then I'm going to go ahead and do these strawberries and tomatoes too. Not going to sell them right now. 
by just getting them ready. That way I have more space and less pallets on the ground. So the very first trip into the truck here is going to be to a very special location, guys. I'm taking some corn over to the corn dryer and I'm going to buy it. Yep, going to buy my first production here on the map. I've got a big plan for what we can do with this dried down corn. All right, almost 112,000 liters of corn here. Let's go ahead and dump this in. Now it is going to go ahead and sell it, right? Because I don't own this facility yet. So I'm going to be able to make all the profit off of this facility. Then we're going to use that profit to then buy it. And all the corn is going to be in there. And I'm going to be able to just instantly turn it back around. This is one of the greatest hacks for getting your productions going early on here in the game. You can see it is still climbing, climbing, climbing. How much do we have in there? Still 61,000. All right. So 78 and six. So what's about 80, $85,000 is what I just made on all of that corn right there. I mean, that's that's pretty convenient because this thing costs a hundred thousand dollars. Let's go ahead and buy it. Yes, perfect. Now I've got a hundred and eleven thousand three hundred eighty two liters already in here. That's exactly what I just dropped off. Now, the interesting thing here is that I'm going to get a one to one ratio here on the corn, but I need 50 liters of propane for every thousand liters of this. I got to go find propane. You guys remember that MJ that I had to help take care of the cows? Yeah, it holds propane as well. I'm gonna go ahead and stick it in here, kick this thing on, and then in a couple months come back, it's all gonna be dried down, and I'm gonna make a ton of money on that dried cord. Now I'd say that year number two ended pretty successfully. It went ahead and paid off all the loan. Only got about seventy thousand dollars left. Can't wait to see what year number three has in store for this farm. Well, that's gonna be it for today, everybody. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a like if you would. Make sure to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications to keep up to date on my future videos. While you're waiting on those future videos, go and check out one of these two right here. Have a great day, night, evening, everybody. Until next time, this is Driver53 signing off.